hoping for was that we would get a group of participants who would be interested in learning how we can scale up services for people with mental disorders and in doing so close the treatment gap that the Lancet series on global mental health had uh, reported was very large in most countries. Well, it's amazing the mix of uh, people we've got from all over the world. We've got um, uh, people from America, Bhutan, Japan, Vietnam, of course a whole bunch from India, Afghanistan, so it's amazing. I mean, the, the, just the experience that we've got into this one room. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy Churant and uh, I'm from Bhutan. And I work as a health uh, counselor in Renew. Uh, to tell you briefly about Renew, uh, it stands for Respect, Educate, uh, Nurture and Empowerment. Uh, my name is Hafiz. Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. Um, I work there as a mental health program manager. I'm Meena. I'm from Kerala. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm Craig Van Dyke from San Francisco and I'm Director of Global Mental Health for the University of California at San Francisco. My name is Kirsi and I come from Finland but working currently in Afghanistan and I'm a psychiatric nurse. I'm Dr. Nasir from Sri Lanka. I am the Regional Director of Health Services in charge of the district. We are running um, uh, two streams, it's a lectures in the morning followed by workshops in the afternoon where we've identified three different resource settings and uh, the groups and the plan is that by the end of the two weeks we come up with some plan for uh, mental health services in three different resource settings. Leadership on mental health, so I, I see in the website, I, I, when I see the contest, I saw, oh, it's exactly what I want. We, uh, obviously, this is the first time you're doing the course of this nature and you're not exactly sure how you want to pitch it and what's going to be the response. But I think what has been fantastic is how the groups have, uh, over the few days that they've been together, how they've managed to gel and how they've managed to interact. And, uh, you know, I think it's been a fantastic learning experience for, you know, certainly me and I'm sure for all of us. I would like to give you a very brief uh, presentation on a mental health situation in Afghanistan. But obviously you've been sitting hearing interesting things. Now is the time to imagine yourselves as part of a discourse on leadership. The main thing that I'll take home is really just the enthusiasm of the people who've taught us and the real integrity with which they've taught. I mean, it's a long time since I've been to a conference where you know, there's been such um, uh, concentration on issues such as um, social justice and um, human rights, which I think are we really important. We have 80 odd projects that we fund for this particular region. 
and uh, at the moment we do not have any projects that have got uh, mental health component yeah, basically supporting the organizations who who are in the disability field but what we observe that most of them the, they were not touching this mental aspect of the disability they are talking about hearing impairments they are talking about uh, visual impairments they are talking about other general disabilities but but uh, it was very surprising that nobody of them was talking about the mental disorders all of us are leaders in in the process of scaling up in one form or the other and uh, so shudhita was saying i think all of us come out learning uh, and this very much a two way process the other thing i i, I think which, which is quite remarkable is how people from so many different countries and professional backgrounds can actually work together uh, on these common uh, uh, workshop goals for example and uh, i think it's the diversity that's uh, for me made this work this whole training course actually become so invigorating i've learned a ton from the incredible projects that people are doing all over the world here uh, particularly inspired by the folks from uh, low income low resourced countries all the problems in clinical setting in japan i thought like mental health is going to be like a huge mountain then where from i didn't know where to start but now i can see that there are tools like epidemiology or monitoring evaluation or um, that kind of thing and a public health approach scaling up approach uh, horizontal ver vertical it's actually making a lot of sense when i think about going back to new york i think i often think what can i do you know in this situation and we're one of the most highly resourced nations in the world um, so if my colleagues in afghanistan and vietnam and India can try and make a difference. Um, I'll do my best to do the same. Well, on a personal level, um, to say that it's been an inspiration is an understatement. It's um, taught me a lot, and uh, yeah, I don't think we can get out of doing this again next year.